So just to wrap up um, the getting into porn and Cody's story, because I know I've still got a few guys hanging on, hoping for that insight that's going to that's gonna get them there. Because the thing is, is like sometimes I feel bad when guys write to me and say, I want to get into the porn industry. And I almost always ignore every single fucking email. And sometimes I do think to myself, like, Every guy that I work with now who's like a solid performer right. that I book a lot that was I like that guy at one was point. that guy at one yeah. point. So you basically got him because you were dating somebody who was camming. You started doing videos with her. So like you had a little bit of experience mm -hmm. um, and then you had that work to show other people. Yeah. And so that kind of was your foothold. Do you think that that's really what helped you get in? No, honestly, because uh, like doing it at home, like you're filming only can only fans at home or the stuff we were filming back then, nothing even close to what we're doing on set, like yeah. not even close, like not even same ballpark, you know, yeah. that was just, I guess, the very first rung of experiencing whether or not you can get hard with even a camera watching you, mm -hmm. not even a human being, but just a camera watching you. I think really what it is, is my ability to learn. I'm a very quick learner. So if you show me something, I'm going to be able to repeat it pretty quickly and learn it for myself. And that's one of the things that I've always said as far as um, male talent are concerned. I think some of the best male talent, um, you're almost part of the crew because mm -hmm. your, your idea, they, they're setting up lights, they're setting up cameras, all in these angles to make the girl look her best. And then you're the on scene, like, gaffer almost in a way like you're moving the girl in these positions and yeah you're moving her in a position that obviously hopefully feels good to you but also posing her body in a way that underneath those lights and those cameras looks good for the cameras it's not about you as much as you might like to think that it is it's more about making her look the best she's going to look and then obviously having sex with her in a way that the company wants you to so yeah it yeah, seems like so learning. little of it is actually about your pleasure. Yeah, not really. No, a lot of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, obviously there, you know, there's, you know, any day doing that is typically better than most other days, but at the same time, yeah, you know, it's not, it's not about you. So, yeah. yeah. What do you do when you get on set and you're like not vibing with the girl or she doesn't seem like she's interested in the scene? How do you handle situations like that? Take a blue chew. Right. And use code Holly, get your first one for free. Uh, um, just pay five dollars in shipping. Bluechew.com slash Holly. Yeah, there you go. Go on. <laughs> right. Uh, it's almost like it's habit. <laughs> um, I mean, as a guy, I think our brains work differently. You know, mm -hmm. um, typically I can kind of find something about that person that I would be into. If it really gets to that level when I was first starting, I'm at that point, I'm just that's work, man. That's a performance. You know, mm -hmm. you got to perform to a level to be like, all right, I'm going to pretend like I like this person. You know, mm -hmm. I'm going to pretend right now that yeah. this is someone I actually want to have sex with right. and then push through it. So, you know, you have to just try and I guess kind of fake it to a certain extent. I mean, nowadays, if it was really down to that point, I would just not do it. Mm -hmm. I have the reputation to be like, I'm just leaving this alone, walking away from it. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm not doing that anymore. But you know, back in the day, yeah, it's still one of those things. And I think that's something, um, cause I was talking to, I texted you about it from a yeah. Demi's, uh, episode two, where I, I wanted to hit on the fact that, you know, um, there are a lot of girls who come in that maybe do this for the wrong reasons or disassociate during, or don't really want to do it. And I think one of the days, cause this is like another thing on there too, when I, when I felt like I was really in the industry, like I was really like a respected performer. I looked over at the director um, and I knew that this girl was not into it. We both could tell. And she just took a second to like leave the room to go to the bathroom real quick and come back. And I looked at him, I just went and he was like, like, and just gave me that notice of like, I know it's not you. I know it's her. Just get this scene over with and we'll all go home. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? That type of thing where before as a male talent, I was like, if I don't make this look good, like if I don't push this, if I don't get this to a point where this looks like something decent, they're going to be like, why would we hire you again? Because that girl obviously wasn't into it. You weren't doing your job well enough. Mm -hmm. And I think that, um, you know, I think that what gets discounted a lot in that is the male experience of that, of going to a set and having to be the one that 
gets hard and goes inside of someone knowing the whole time that they don't want to do this. Mm -hmm. Like I'm a big empath. I feel that type of thing. And if you put me in that position, I mean, now I'm so thankful to be at a point where I will just walk away because I'm like, I, I don't want, I don't want the repercussions. I don't want the rest of my day to be shit because in my brain, I'm just going to be thinking about that. Like it really, it affects me mentally and sexually as well, too, where I'm like, I don't want to do this. I don't really want to tell you what your autonomy is, but I'm going to do what I can do, which is to leave the situation because I clearly understand that you don't want this to happen. Mm -hmm. Luckily, it has been a very long time since I've had something like that come up. But at the same time, that's a really detrimental experience to the male on the other side of that. And I know that the women, I'm not trying to victim blame anyone or say that anyone's feelings were invalid because you might be going through something or you might have had traumatic experiences and things like that in the past. But I don't know those things. You know, I'm not I'm not your therapist. I'm not in that room with you. And this industry is obviously a place where you're going to be doing adult actions in an adult way on an adult set with another adult. So when you come to set like that, when you bring those things with you, a lot of times it just gets spoken in this light where it's like, oh, it just, it was me and I was in this place and it affected me, but you're discounting the effect that it has on the male performer as well. Yeah. Like I know not every guy is going to have those same emotions or not everyone, every guy is going to feel it that same way. But to me, it really, it really like hurts me and almost makes me like emotional talking about it just because like, it, it just sucks to be that person on the other side of that, the receiving end of that, and to really look at someone and understand that they don't want to be doing this. Something yeah. as intimate as having sex, where something that's something that's super intimate and very much a part of my life that I really love. And to watch someone take that thing that you love and just make it into this like experience that I'm feeling with them where I'm like, this is horrible for you. You don't even want to do this. Like You don't want to be here. I'm like, it just makes me feel gross. And it makes me feel like I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah. And so one of those things where I said where I'm like, you know, I, I don't want anyone to feel like you need to be in love with the person that you're working with every single time or you need to be all over me the whole time. I'm like, no, but like if you're going through something, if you need that time, if you need some space or you're, you're trying to figure something else about it, this is not the place to figure that out. Like, don't put that on someone else. Don't involve someone else in your stuff because you don't know that guy could just be like completely ignorant of your feelings and just who cares and then make it even worse. Mm -hmm. Or it could be someone like me where now the rest of my day, I'm like, I almost want to cancel the next couple of days to really just take a minute to center myself because I'm like, I don't want to. It affects you that much. Feel, oh yeah. Like it, it will affect like my whole drive, my, my mood for that too. Yeah. I'm just like, cause it just, I, I can tell, I, I understand. And I'm like, I feel sorry for them. Yeah. But I just don't, you know, I'm like, this is not the place for you to be figuring that out. Like me being inside of you is not the moment for you to figure out that porn is not for you. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, yeah, that's a lot to put on somebody. Yeah. And it just doesn't get talked about because the way they treat men in this industry, especially, is that you're just a robot, you know, just mm -hmm. get it up go and do the job. And it should be great because it feels good for you all the time. Why would you ever have a care in the world? It's the greatest job ever. And it can be, but there are other days where, you know, those types of things can really affect someone and change their view on this type of things. And some, some guys I've seen take it the other way where they're just like, they get off on the idea of a girl not wanting to be there yeah, because they like the idea. It's an egotistical like thing of yeah. like, she wouldn't be doing this if, if, if she wasn't getting paid, which makes it kind of hot, you know? And I'm like, it's just, yeah. So that, that can be a breeding ground for that type of environment. But I think that that male experience on that end really does um, affect some people and especially affects me. But luckily, I feel like I've gotten to a point in the industry where now I can just say no and be like, look, like you might want that and you might want to keep trying it, but like you need to, to figure yourself out first and I'm not going to be a part of that.